Welcome to Fantastic Realm, I'm Yare and we've got another bumper crop of comic book releases for you this week. Loads of stuff came out this week. Um, Brew Baker's run on Captain America continues, that's another issue out this week. Jeff Loeb doing the Hulk with the Red Hulk and the Green Hulk and the Blue Hulk, what more could you want? Deadpool number two, we absolutely loved Deadpool number one and this is cool too. And of course... What would any great week in comics be without some Mark Miller releases? 1985 is out and Fantastic Four is out, but none of those are the books we're talking about this week. Those are coming up next. It's finally out this week. All-Star Batman and Robin, The Boy Wonder, issue number 10. Now, the first nine issues of this I absolutely loved. This one is not bad, but... It's one of those Batman books that tends that focuses on a lot of the supporting cast, like Gordon, and in this one, um, Batgirl and the Black Canary and everything. And there isn't that much actual Batman and Robin, and that's what's the cool thing about this series, that this is possibly w one of the first series that actually made Robin look cool when he was actually sharing space with Batman. As opposed to, pr most of the time, Robin looks like a little bit of a kind of a sidekick. And um, in his series on his own, he's all right. But next to the Batman, he looks always looks a bit like, okay, whatever. Do you see what I mean? But in this book, they actually managed to tell Robin's story whilst having the Batman there and actually ma make Robin look good. And that's why we've loved this book so far. But issue number 10 focuses on a lot of the other supporting characters and hasn't got quite enough bat action for my own taste that said it's an ongoing series and it's uh it's classwork jim lee frank miller what more could you want out this week all-star batman and robin issue number 10 issue 111 daredevil the man without fear out this week with ed brubaker taking care of the writing so a real nice kind of noirish um grit, gritty kind of feel to this book but like brew baker handles the kind of tender moments between matt murdoch and his new kind of love interest really well as well and the art on this book kind of rem reminiscent of john ramita jr which is no bad thing whatsoever clay man though has got clearly his own style and it's worth checking out this book for that so if you haven't been reading any daredevil recently this is a great chance to join in because it's the start of a new story arc uh, lady bullseye part one and that's right there's a lady bullseye how did that happen you'll have to read this to find out issue 111 of daredevil the man without fear out this week also new for this week is this reimagining of the flash gordon story by Denine and green a little bit of uk comic book action for you and if you like kind of the flash gordon story this is it updated um so uh no longer is flash a college football hero he's a college professor now and dale arden it's a bit old school that she would be the damsel in distress that's a little bit 1985 for you so no 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 she's now a special agent and has kind of got a really nice tight kind of kick-ass outfit so um if you want to kind of check out a little bit of the kind of uk's unique take on the whole comic book thing a lot of great creators from the uk then you might want to check out this flash gordon and don't forget if you're one of those people that hates waiting around for issue two issue two's out this week as well as a quick honourable mention for all you fans of Supernatural, the last part is out this week. Now, this whole these two series, of, um, the two six-part series, they've run as a kind of prequel to the TV series. So, if you're one of those people that's been following the TV series, um, even though it's been tucked away on I don't know ITV2 late at night over here in the UK, if you've been following this series, then you'll definitely be wanting to keep up with this comic book because it gives you a lot of kind of information because it's a prequel to the series. So it gives you a lot of information that might help you understand more about what's going on in the TV series. And the last part of it's out this week. You can find further info and buy any of the books we reviewed at fantasticrealm.co.uk. And don't forget to quote the code FAN1 to get a 10% discount. You can also join our online communities at MySpace and YouTube where you can also subscribe to this video. Feel free to add a comment about the video below and don't forget you can drop by the store and check out what we have in stock anytime you like.